Okay, I have a fish unboxing today. I got these on Aquabid. Um, the problem is where I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, these things left on Monday, and it's now Thursday. It always takes an extra day to get here since I'm so far away from anything. Um, and the box does have damage on it, and this side is wet. So I'm really hoping that, you know, that everything is still alive and, and doing well. Um, it is surprising how tough some fish are. Not sure if you're going to be able to see that very well. But we will see what we can do here and hopefully everything is alive. Styrofoam is very well packed with actually with insulation. Is alive. It looks really, really good. I need to just float them somewhere to get them to temp. What I ordered was some um, daffodil bricardis, some Ariatus pencilfish, and some Julitochromus regonis. So those are the Julitochromus regonis. The first one was one of the uh, bricardis. Those look good. Packed very well, very well insulated. I was concerned because it was pretty chilly this morning, and there is some of the pencil fish on this one. We'll get a better look at these later. There's three pencil fish there. Um, and there is some more Julitochromus regonis. I already have two, and I wanted to put some more with them to see if I can get some some, some young out of it. Some spawn. I'm going to start floating them in a different tank because that was getting full. So far, I'm very pleased. There's another uh, Julitochromus regani. And what do we have here? There is another pencil fish really good. So far everything's alive which is great. I was concerned with the box being damaged and, and it was 29 degrees yesterday morning but they were on the other end of the state. They were 530 miles away from me yesterday morning. So, um, And there's the rest of the Bricardites. So I'll go through and count these up and see where I'm at but um, everything looks alive. Everything, everything looks great. Okay. What I ended up buying was six of the little Julitochromus regonis. They're looking good. Um, there are three of them there. Um, they're the smaller ones. I already have uh, two larger ones in here, so hopefully they can get along. They're kind of checking each other out here. Uh, that's one of my originals. It's much bigger. So that will give me a total of eight of them in this tank. And, you know, two just isn't quite enough. So, they're looking good. Uh, we'll keep an eye on them and see how they do. And I will go ahead and open the next one. Okay, I bought some Daffodil Bricardis. I believe there's six of them in there. They're looking good. Um, they shipped them on Monday, and this is Thursday. It takes a while to get where I'm at. So, one, two, three, four, five. I think there's six. But anyway, they're looking good. The other thing that I have in this tank is a small uh, calvus. So, make a nice addition to this tank. Um, they were shipped out of Florida, an aqua bed. So, anyway, those are looking good. Uh, and once again, the Julie's Regonis are. I rearranged the tank. The ones that were in there, these two were kind of chasing them. So, I rearranged the tank, and sometimes that really works well to try to get them to set up new territories and then everybody is more happy. So they're looking really good. And the other ones that I have is I bought some Ariatus pencil fish for my Amazon biotope tank. I believe one of them is dead, but hopefully, I think there were six, so it would still give me five. So I'll see if I can get them acc you know, acclimated in and then I will add to this. Okay, the other thing I got is uh, six Ariatus pencil fish. They're not focusing in very well. Um, one of them appears to be dead in transit. So I left it in here for a while. We'll see what happens, but I don't think it's going to make it. But that would give me five. 
Um, there's one of them there. And three of them over here. So I know there's another one in there somewhere, and then I need to find the one that didn't make it. So anyway, as soon as I put them in here, the pair of angels I had in here started chasing them around. So I removed the angels. Um, we'll give these some time to grow, and then eventually I'll put angels back in. But for now, the angels are going to stay out. So, and this is my biotope tank. So anyway, I hope everybody makes it, because what I ended up with was the Areatus pencil fish. And the Ricard eyes, which are doing good, and the Julies, and the Julies are looking good also. So hopefully everything makes it, and that is my video for today. Okay, unfortunately, one of the Areatus pencil fish jumped out of the net, and I wasn't aware of it. I saw it on the floor. It is still alive, so I'm hoping it pulls out of it. I feel kind of dumb about that. Um, this one is hanging near the surface, but it's it's doing good. And these three are acting exactly like they should. So I do have five in here. Um, I ordered six, and I did put the sixth one in, but it appeared to be dead. So I will have to um, see if I can figure out where it went. Hopefully the one up on the surface there he is upright and he is moving, but he jumped out of the bag. I guess I turned around and he was laying on the floor behind me. He didn't lay there very long, but he laid there longer than what I wanted. So we'll see how it goes. I did have to remove the angels because they were chasing them, and I, I don't need anything chasing them right now. So I moved the angels over into another tank for now. And so that is the Areatus pencilfish, and they appear to be doing okay for the most part.